Welcome back to the World of Cinematics. I'm your host, Aaron, and today we are talking about Poppy Playtime, specifically the antagonist, Mommy Long Legs. You know, I was underwhelmed with her design. <laughs> I know some people were like, oh, she's so creepy, she can bend all over the place. Thing is, is she looks more like a, a toy that I would play with, or perhaps one of my sisters would play with. That's probably a better example. At least I would like the way she's able to bend and things. <laughs> if Bendy wasn't already taken, that would have been a great name for her. But anyways, despite that, I did not find her design very, very scary. I thought Huggy Wuggy was better design as far as, you know, something just a little off setting. But that said, when she's chasing you, don't get me wrong, that, that gets your heart going. It got me very, very excited and it is very much a great addition to the lineup of antagonists thus far. We have yet to see what Chapter 3 will be bringing us. I talked about the evil Barney concept a couple days ago. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if this evil cat will be better or worse, but Mommy Longlegs, as far as a antagonist in appearance, not my favorite, but as far as intelligence, as well as manipulation and all the other aspects that make a great villain great, I definitely think she's up there. I think as far as video game, these uh, independent horror game characters, I think she does an excellent job, especially with the final test, because the first two tests, she cheats. Obviously, she cheats with the Bonzo. Bunzo. He's above you, and she puts up all those different buttons you have to push at the right order, and then, you know, you just can't do it. If there weren't the emergency button that got you out of there, there's no way you'd get away. And then... Yeah, well, with the Huggy Wuggy pop around you, I can't remember what they call it, but Wacko Muggy, Huggy, that's it. Pardon me. I think that that was very fun, very intense, but that PJ Pugapillar, I think that was easily the best uh, design for you not to realize that you have to go through the window. While that is annoying, without a doubt, especially if you you play that part several times, it can get super annoying, you get frustrated. But the fact that it's not so obvious, I find that very, very well designed. Because if you get it the first time, do you really learn to look out for those things? Because who knows what Chapter 3 will have ahead of us. You're going to have to start looking for those extra details. You know, not just in the story, but in the gameplay as well. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Remember to be good and do good towards one another. And remember to please like, share, and subscribe if you like more videos like this. Bye!